Hey guys, so it's time to do the LG G2 test on the Galaxy S8. Can the S8 uh, defeat the LG G2, which is victorious every year, against the latest flagship? We're going to see if that is the case. Because the LG G2 will never die. It is the phone which uh, was a pinnacle of technology. And has been my main daily driver after all. No, I'm just kidding. It could be though. I mean, it still has a bigger battery than what HTC phones have nowadays. And uh, it still has a very nice edge-to-edge -edge display. LG's own Infinity display here. As you can see. It's just the uh, brightness which uh, could do with a little bit uh, better. I think, uh, you know, uh, I think that is what you were going to get with the latest phones. Uh, but nevertheless, we're going to see, uh, does the S8 uh, get a better performance than the, the uh, LG G2 here? So let's just check everything's closed down, because we want to make sure it's fair here. And let's go. So LG G2 came with the Snapdragon 800 processor which as you can see is showing its age a little bit here at last and it still comes with the weird circle as well from the old Android uh, which I did uh, miss so a little bit uh, snappy now, it's woken up I think you see it just needed its coffee and now it's keeping up with the S8 in pretty much everything. Oh, a little bit faster there. That was nice. Let's try messaging. Oh, again. LG G2. What are you doing? Look at that. You see how snappy it was in the camera. I mean, that uh, is very nice performance here. So it takes a while for it to start up, but once it gets going, this is a beast. You see, the S8, it can't keep up here, unfortunately. Look at that. That uh, is amazing performance. I knew it wouldn't let me down. This is why I keep the LG G2 as uh, my go-to device when I need performance. What is this game? I don't even know what this game is. I think it's like... It's like... Uh, what is it? How do I get rid of this? There we go. Nice. So I do get some weird games downloading on the Play Store. I think LG should bring out an anniversary edition of the uh, LG G2 if anyone's watching from LG. Because while the G6 is a good phone, uh, it doesn't have the... I don't say... I wouldn't say it has the same kind of attitude here as the LG G2. Keeping up with phones which cost, you know, a hell of a lot more... Uh, let's just see the speed here. Uh, one thing which it did get quite panned for was the interface, which uh, it can be a little bit muddling because there's a lot of LG stuff in there. But, you know, if you know what you're doing, you won't have too many problems, actually. Let me just get a speed test on it. You can see how fast apps install. Nearly as fast as the iPhone here. So let's see, both from the Wi-Fi, and wouldn't it be funny if the G2 did win? The S8 is quite uh, average when it comes to the Wi-Fi, I have noticed. I mean, I don't think it's quite as good as some flagship phones, like the Google Pixel, which gets 220. Uh, well, that's just uh, another topic. I'm probably going to do a benchmark test actually against some flagship phones. And we can see here the LG G2 getting a very average score. I'm sure it got better last year. I'm sure it got to 100. Uh, so maybe it's just, you know, taking its time, having it, it's relaxing basically. And, you know, saying, well, we'll give the S8 this round.
you can see the upload is nearly as good and the ping is better so you know you can see it still has some credentials there uh, finally we do want to also have a look at the multitasking here uh, which you can see we do have the very nice multitasking of old Android and it had two gigs of RAM to play with uh, which gives you obviously uh, you know a little bit of a delay when it comes to the going back into stuff Maybe if they put 3 gigs of RAM in the LG G2, it would have been a little bit better, but uh, I think generally, you know, at the time there was a constraint, it probably wasn't available. Uh, if it did put 3 gigs of RAM in there, it probably would have lasted another 10 years in terms of, you know, usability. But you can see, you know, at the end of the day, it does multitask, just not quite as snappy as your latest flagship. Uh, you know, and that uh, is very nice, a little bit faster here on the G2. Uh, so you can see you do actually get a few reloads on the S8, and I have updated the firmware as well. Uh, but you can see now, it just takes a while for the G2 to get going at the end of the day, and then once it does, it's a beast. Uh, so I'd, I'd give it a draw, you know, this video in terms of the performance. Let's Let's be honest, at the end of the day, it's a draw. Uh, I think the G2 did very well again here, proving yet again that you don't need to spend 700 euro on a phone for a very decent performance. And obviously, it does come with its own, uh, you know, advantages here. You are getting, uh, you know, LG's uh, suite of apps here, which you know is quite nice. With the music, you can actually uh, change the uh, the tempo, as I remember. It's one of the things which I did really love. Uh, is that uh, the G2? Could have been the G3 actually. I can't see it here. <laughs> I'm sure it was on this phone, but maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, but overall, the actual software experience is very, uh, you know, uh, lots of stuff that you can do on it, like Memo. Uh, you could also do, you know, uh, all sorts of stuff LG backup, uh, cell broadcast. Uh, voice mate as well. I'm guessing that will be very competitive with Bixby and uh, video editor. Amazing stuff on G2. Uh, it's just a shame that LG has like uh, forgotten to update it here uh, to uh, the latest Android. I think we are on 4.4.2, which uh, is a bit annoying. But well, that is what you do get with Android. You know, only a year or two of support, and then the phone gets abandoned. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little comparison here, S8 with the LG G2. How will the S9 fare? You know, very speculative. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.